Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and this morning we're visiting with Ann Hall Norris. She's a food preservation extension specialist for the University of Kentucky. Good morning, Ann Hall. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being with us. And I'm really excited that you're here because you are going to walk us through the steps of how we can make those perfectly crisp pickles that so many people love. Ann Hall, how can we get started in making them so crisp? Well, the first thing you need to know is that a young, firm cucumber makes the best pickle. It'll make it crisp. So you don't want to start with an older, an older cucumber that's a long cucumber. You want to make sure that you're picking them early in the morning, that they're not over four inches long. Um, they'll still have that prickly skin on the outside. And so those will make a perfectly crisp pickle every time. If you're purchasing them at the farmer's market, you want to make sure that you go ahead and pickle them that day because the products at the farmer's market are fresh. They've been picked that morning or the night before. And so as a cucumber ages, it gets softer. So you want to pickle it right when it's at its peak. And so you'll start by um, rubbing those little prickly bumps off and then soaking them in ice water. Soaking them in ice water four to five hours before cutting them or preparing them will help ensure that that pickle stays crisp. All right, now after they have soaked in that ice water, what do we do next? Well, next, it's really important to remove the blossom end of that cucumber. And if you're picking at home, you'll know which end is the blossom end because it's opposite the stem. And some people will leave a little bit of the stem on. If you're purchasing them at the market, they may or may not have a stem, so you'll need to know what to look for. And sometimes it's difficult to tell the blossom end from the stem end. So go ahead and just remove a little bit from each end of that cucumber because removing the blossom end will prevent that enzyme from making the cucumber soft. All right, now that we've removed the blossom, where do we go? Well, now you're ready to cut and pack them. You can cut them into spears or cut them into slices and then pack them into the jar. Um, I like dill pickles, so I always add a little bit of dill and garlic, and then you'll make your brine solution. Are there any other necessary ingredients that we might need for the process? Yes, you'll wanna make sure that you use vinegar that's 5% acidity. There are different levels of vinegar in the grocery store. Some are three, some are eight, but you wanna make sure you're purchasing at least 5% acidity vinegar and it'll be printed right on the label. You also wanna make sure you're purchasing a salt that doesn't have additives. Table salt will have an anti-caking agent added so that it's free flowing and comes out of the shaker easily but that additive will cause your brine to be cloudy. So you don't want to salt with any additives. Canning salt will be fine. And if you can find a kosher salt that doesn't have that additive, that's great to use too. I'd like to also add that some of our older pickle recipes included soaking in alum or lime, and that's not recommended anymore. Both of those chemicals are harmful. And if you don't wash them off properly, rinse the pickle really good after soaking, you could possibly ingest some of that alum or lime. And so food safety experts recommend not using alum or lime in any recipes anymore. They want you to soak them in the ice water or there is a commercial product out there. Ball makes a product called Pickle Crisp and Mrs. Wages makes a product called Extra Crunch that you can add just before you put the lid on the jar that is supposed to help with crispness. Um, I get varying um, opinions on that from people that make pickles, so you might wanna give it a try. Oh, Ann Hall, I think I'm gonna have to go eat some pickles after this. <laughs> if anyone is watching and they want uh, some good recipes uh, or some resources, what suggestions do you have for them? Well, your local extension office will have a publication on pickles. And then the Ball Fresh Preserving website will have a lot of pickle recipes, either canned pickles or refrigerator pickles. So I definitely check that out. All right, great. Ann Hall, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.